Hey guys and welcome to this special video dedicated to the free update that comes along with the vintage pack. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is the Lady Designer for those who don't know. Please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of Planet Coaster and make sure to like the video if you do. But let me just show you what will be in the free update that comes along with the vintage pack at the 10th of July. As you can see right over here, these are coaster supports. Now, I am not a coaster geek, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys really love these coaster supports. You can recolor them and there are like so many different pieces. And there are also, of course, pieces for the new mouse coaster, which we will get back into a minute. Of course, I'm going to show you guys the new coaster, but I'm pretty sure that you guys really love these coaster supports. There are different sizes, different poles. There is so much to to do so much to use everything is recolorable as I just said and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people can also use these pieces for other things too but they are meant to be coaster supports <laughs> But yeah, who uses pieces that are meant to be like a certain item? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't. I don't. <laughs> so another thing that will be coming along with the free update are planters. A custom modular planter set is this is just really amazing, guys. There is like grid pieces, but there are also like non grid pieces. These are the non grid pieces. And over here you can see yeah, well, it explains itself, right? There are so many different shapes and you can do so much with them. Of course, you don't have to use them as a grid piece. You can also just split them from a building and just go ahead and, and freeform yourself. <laughs> And we also got some really amazing new flowers. And these flowers are really amazing because you can recolor them in every color you want them to be. That is really, even the green you can recolor, guys. So I can imagine these new flowers will be used for a lot of different stuff. We have over here tulips, we have narcissus, and, and please bear with me with the pronunciation of the flower names. Um, we have rose bushes, sunflowers, and the Italia, Magonia, and every single flower is recolorable, which is just really amazing. And you can do so much with them. And I just really love these two. These are my favorites. I really love them. So yeah, this is really awesome that we get these for free with the new update. I'm so happy with them and I hope you guys are too. <laughs> Another thing that comes along with the update and let me just get like a shot right over here is of course the camera. Uh, we get a new camera effect which is really awesome and um, you can have like so many different styles. Let me just get one. Okay, so we have a grayscale over here. And you can also have like a film green over it. This is so cool, by the way. I just really, really like this thing. This, this is like the old vintage look, right? That is just amazing. There, there's so much you can do like, like vignette or the opacity every color there are so many different colors to choose from which is just oh whoa that hurts my eyes <laughs> but no seriously that is just amazing and i i'm not really sure if i will use it myself maybe only for like cinematics video i really wonder if people will use this while while having while just playing the game or that people will mostly just use it to do recordings but i really just like it that they add this feature for free for the people that just really want like want to have like a different feeling of the game. So I just can only thank, oh gosh, okay, it saves it. <laughs> I can just only thank Blind Coaster for just adding this small little thing. Well, it's not small for them, but I mean like a feature that can be used for, for video creators or just people that really want to play in a park with a different look. So I just can really only thank Frontier for adding it. And guys, oh, I'm so happy we finally get like these beautiful vending machines, aren't they like freaking amazing? I mean, 
uh, I don't know what it is, but they just look gorgeous and they are well used. Like I, I played a little bit along with them and sometimes it's like super quiet. Sometimes there are only like two or three people, but right now it's super busy in the park. So uh, there are a lot of people getting their drinks and this one is expecting the vending machine, which is also a very nice addition. They are really, really gorgeous and also at night time they will look very pretty into your park. I will show you in a minute how it looks at night time, but boy, this is just so cute. I really, really love this new addition. Let me just turn night time on for a second. They are beautifully lit, like not super heavy. This is just perfect, like a nice, a nice glowy touch to them. I really love these and these are also in the free update guys isn't that amazing and this is like so new to the game that it is definitely gonna open more doors for the future to add different variety of stuff and talking about that let me show you this claw machine how oh, I'm so happy like the first time I saw this I was like oh my god I want a plushie I want it now like seriously this is just so cute I love it no one is using it right now, but that's fine. But it's just really gorgeous, really well made. And you can also recolor it if you want to have like a more vintage look or anything like that. Of course, in a vintage update, you will also get a different vintage claw machine. I'm pretty sure we will get a different variety of these claw machines in the future. At least that is what I really hope. Like this is just amazing. And maybe we can have like different variety of mini games in the future too, which is just really awesome. So thank you Frontier for adding this. Let me just show you at daytime real quick. That's just so awesome. I really like these. And King Coaster does too. <laughs> Next thing is recoloring the staff. So let me just add some staff members. And over here we got a janitor and you can absolutely recolor it to the most goofy things. Let me just let me just make it all pink and red like as you can see it works <laughs> you can have your own styled staff in your park which in my opinion is just amazing because i really like to roster them to a certain different themed area and then recolor them to fit that area now i really like to do that i really think that's amazing and i'm really thankful that we now can finally do this in Planet Coaster. I'm just waiting that we can recolor the entertainers too. At this point we can't, but hopefully, hopefully Sam Danny is listening to me and we'll add that into the game in the future. That will be amazing. And over here, of course, we have a security guard which you can recolor and I just really would like to color it black but but every color is possible like the pinkish why not <laughs> and a blue head which is just amazing and also you can recolor your vendors to every color you wish them to be and I just really like this new edition the only thing I'm missing is that I really would like to set just one color for everyone so you don't have to recolor them like maybe some some set pieces for different work rosters I don't know though those are just ideas for the future I guess I think we are we we should be really happy that we can finally recolor the staff which is just totally amazing also the coaster there is a free wooden coaster coming along with the update the mouse hunt a historic wooden mouse coaster and I have to say like as I said I'm not really a coaster nerd but I really like this coaster and it looks really gorgeous and really vintage I really think this fits totally the theme that we are getting even though this is the free update I just really love these cars they are so simple and and they look really like from the old school it's just really awesome so uh, let's just end this video by riding the coaster I really hope you guys enjoy let me know what you think of this free update if you are happy with it what is your most favorite favorite feature and if you want to see more of the vintage DLC then of course make sure to check out the other video I'm making with the total overview with all the different pieces that we get in the vintage DLC thank you guys so much for watching as I said please make sure to subscribe if you already haven't leave a like at the video if you do and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys